Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and I am Dollaraholic Mama and today I have a Dollarama haul to share with you guys. So I'm just going to get started. So the first items that I picked up are another set of the Hask shampoo and conditioner. As I've mentioned before, I only ever pick them up when I can find a matching pair. I just find that it works best for my hair if I have a shampoo and conditioner that are supposed to go together. So this is the Chia Seed Oil. It is a volumizing shampoo and conditioner and it's supposed to give you body and bounce. And of course with Hask it's free of sulfates and parabens. These are 355 milliliter bottles and they are $350 each at Dollarama. So that's such a fantastic price in comparison to like Walmart or shoppers or elsewhere that sell them for around that like $9 to $10 uh, price point. Then I did pick up a coconut coffee scrub. So this is by Paos or P-A-O-S, which is kind of like Dollarama's um, beauty line. So you get 200 grams of the scrub in here for only 250. So I thought I would pick it up and give it a try. Um, I have hauled a coffee scrub before uh, from Dollar Tree and I really didn't like it because it left me feeling really greasy and slimy. So I'm hoping that this doesn't do the same thing. I absolutely love the smell of coffee and I find it really relaxing. So I thought that this would be nice even to use like in a little foot tub um, before doing like a little pedicure. I thought that would be a nice treat. I do believe they had a couple different ones to choose from, but the coconut coffee one sounded the most interesting to me. Then I did pick up these uh, clips by Lori. So you get 10 clips in here for $2. And these are great for removing nail polish that, you know, is being a little stubborn and doesn't want to come off. Um, it's also great if you want to be a little gentler on your little one's hands because sometimes they don't like you scrubbing um, or buffing at their nail. So I thought that these would be perfect. So all you do is you soak a little cotton ball, you tuck it inside the clip, and then you put the clips on your fingers and you kind of let it sit there for a little bit. It says approximately 10 to 15 minutes, but it really depends on how, you know, stubborn your nail polish is. And then you just take it off and wash your hands and it's supposed to pull off um, most, if not all of the polish without any actual, you know, scrubbing at your nails. So I thought that was really fantastic. I know other brands at other stores um, have the same kind of concept and sell for a lot more, but really it's doing the same thing. So why not save a couple bucks when you can. Then I did pick up some more face masks. So these are Dead Sea Oasis and it's a Dead Sea Spa Treatment Mask infused with Dead Sea Salts and Minerals. It's a soothing 15 minute facial therapy, moisturizes, firms, and rejuvenates. And you do get two facial treatments in here for only $2. So that's a buck per mask. So that's even cheaper than getting them individually at the Dollar Tree. Um, they're never this brand, I don't believe. Uh, this is by, oh, it could be this brand because it's Global Beauty Care, which is also carried at Dollar Tree, but I've never seen it there. And even then it would probably be individual and would be a $1.25 a mask, whereas this is a dollar per mask, which is really fabulous. Super excited to give those a shot and see what they do for my skin. Then I did pick up a little set of hair clips. These are by Scunchy and they are really pretty. They're nice colors and then the interior part of the clip does have some glitter on it but there isn't any fallout. So you do get 10 pieces and you get two of each color which is great if you wanted to you know pull back a little bit of hair on each side you get a matching set. My girls absolutely love these. I love these to have on hand for my youngest because she's got uh, we're kind of growing out bangs on the side for her so these are kind of good to pull back so it stays out of her face. And these were only $1.25 for the set so a really good deal. Then I guess more so health but still in the beauty aisle uh, I found the children's Benadryl. So this is like the itch eraser um, or bug bite relief. So this is great if you get a little mosquito bite or black fly bite or anything like that. You can dab this on to there and it's supposed to relieve some of the itch. 
Um, I find this does work well. Just be careful that you're not putting it on broken skin. If they've already itched the bite, don't put this on there. Otherwise, it will burn and be super uncomfortable for them. It's not supposed to go on broken skin at all. And this is good all the way until February of next year. So lots of time to get through this entire, you know, summer season of bugs. So absolutely fantastic for $4. Um, I've looked elsewhere and this can retail up to like 10 bucks for the same exact size. So really great to come across at Dollarama. Then I did pick up a hair product for me. And this is uh, Herbal Essences Naked Sheer Shine Mist. And it's got 0% silicone and 0% colorant and you get five fluid ounces in here. It was only $2.50 and it claims that it is supposed to, you know, cut down on some frizz, give you a little bit of shine. I'm still having a hard time finding anything that I can put in my hair and leave in that doesn't leave it, you know, crunchy or greasy feeling. I have very fine, um, thin hair. So I've been looking for a product that I can leave in and kind of tone down that frizz, especially on my ends. So I'm hoping that this works out well. I like the idea that there's no silicones or anything in it um, and it's more like natural so I'm excited to give this a shot. Then I found some more bath bombs. Um, I typically haul my bath bombs from the Dollar Tree so I was super excited to find them at a Dollarama for the same price. So these are by the Bath Collection which again is just a Dollarama line and you get three bath bombs in here for a dollar 25 and it does come in like a little resealable pouch which is really cool and i love the fragrance choices that they have made for their bath bombs so this one here is blueberry and vanilla and the packaging is just so cute and what's fantastic about these is the actual dollarama sticker it just peels right off so you could pick that off and then unless people are looking really closely they won't even know it's a dollar store product so this would be such a cute gift um, to put a couple of these bath bombs together maybe with a little loofah or something like that would look really really cute but blueberry and vanilla that's not a scent or a combination that you would come across often so i was really excited for that one then they also had lavender but they've mixed in chamomile with it so i thought that would be really really relaxing and soothing and then the last one they had is green mint which i presume is spearmint and eucalyptus so really excited for that one i absolutely love the smell of spearmint it is my favorite all-time scent and then um, next is a close second is vanilla so really excited to try these um, i typically don't have baths because my bathtub is very small and i am very tall but my girls love using bath bombs and i always sit with them so i get to enjoy the scent anyways and they get a real kick out of them dissolving in the tub normally i do use two of these in a bath for them um, solely because of the fact that they each like to put one in um, and have it on their side of the tub and watch it dissolve so that's why I normally use two uh, some people will put all three in there it's really up to you in personal preference as how much um, scent and how much of the you know reaction and fizziness you want in the tub then I found more bath bombs and these are again by Peos, which is the same um, as the coffee coconut scrub that I picked up, which again is just another Dollarama um, bath line. So these were $2.50 a piece, but I love the packaging on here and I like the idea that they're kind of a little bit more gender neutral in the sense that these are designed to be like planets and rocket ships. My youngest son still enjoys having baths, mostly because of the fact that he likes the bath bombs, but I think it's, um, he's got it in his head that, you know, that's more for little girls and stuff like that when it isn't. Anyone can relax in a nice bath, but I thought that these would be really fun for him and might encourage him or make him more comfortable with having baths rather than a shower. So this one, you get a little rocket ship. And this one is like a purple planet and it actually has glitter in it so he might have to fight my youngest daughter over that one um but we can share our our bath bombs no problem and then this one has two planets that kind of look just like saturn and this is in a grapefruit aroma which i've never seen in a bath bomb this one is in coconut and then the last one i picked up um, has two different planets. You get a big purple and yellow and then a tiny blue and green 
and they are mango and apple. So I'm not sure if it's mango and apple all together or if it's one's mango and one's apple. I'm not really sure, but really excited to come across these. Uh, Dollarama seems to be stepping up their game when it comes to the beauty items and they're putting them at really affordable price points too, which is fantastic. Then speaking of bass, I also picked up this uh, tear-free rinse cup and it's by Raz and it's uh, BPA free, not that you're gonna be drinking out of it anyways, um, but what it is is it's like a flexible cup so when you go to dump it over their heads to rinse out their hair, it kind of folds down onto their forehead and makes it so that the water runs down back over their hair rather than getting in their eyes. Um, my youngest has a bad habit of putting her head forward and it getting all in her face, so I'm hoping that this is going to help with that. They kind of show you a picture up there. Um, I just think it would be beneficial to give it a shot and see if it helps at all. Right now we just use like a little standard plastic cup that has no give to it, so I thought that this would be really handy and a little bit more gentler on them as well. And it was only $1.50, so I figured why not give it a shot and see if it works. Plus purple, so you know my youngest is going to go crazy for it. Then I did pick up one hair accessory. And again, this is for my eldest daughter's birthday gift. As I've mentioned countless times already, she's having an LOL themed birthday in the fall. So I've been picking up things for her when I see them. This is cute. It comes with a little hair elastic that you can tie up in a ponytail, which has a little bow with the little character. And then it has like a braided color strand. So you can either leave it in a braid and have that hanging down from a ponytail or a bun, or you could unbraid it and kind of intersperse it with your um, daughter's hair. And it'll look really, really cute. I thought she'd get a real kick out of it. And for only $3 for a licensed product, I thought that was really nice. They also had like a mini one, a frozen one, a princess one, all sorts of different ones to choose from. But I did only grab the one this time around. Then I also managed to find some um, essential oils, which I was really stoked to come across because normally essential oils are a lot of money. So I did get, I think all of the ones that are available, I did get a, um, them from a couple different locations because it seems like each location is only getting uh, some of the oils, not the whole line. They were each only $2 for uh, 0.5 fluid ounces or 15 milliliters so that's like your little standard bottle of oil for, uh, for two bucks so I think that's an absolutely fantastic deal and they do tell you on the side which um, like what they're beneficial for I actually plan on picking up a diffuser um, and using these um, whether it's to help my kiddos go to sleep or to help us relax or you know just to have a nice scent going in the house so I was really excited to save some money on the actual oils themselves so I did pick up a lemongrass, a lavender, a sandalwood, a eucalyptus, a peppermint, and a rosemary. And like I said, they do give you um, an idea of what each of them is used for right on the side so you don't even have to worry about you know doing your own research or looking them up or anything like that unless you're trying to mix them then it might be a good idea but I love how they do kind of give you a basic idea of what they're to be used for as well for two bucks absolutely amazing and then the last I guess I'm counting it as a bath type of beauty item, even though I guess it's technically a toy as well, um, are these bath books. And I think these are absolutely amazing. So normally Dollarama will put out like the tiny little books and it just comes with a book. Um, even Dollar Tree sells them as well, but they're very miniature. So this is a really good size book. And then it also comes with the little characters. So for this one, it is Disney princess theme. Um, and it says that you get one bath book and then six suction cups. So six different princesses, which have suction cups on the side. So you can attach them to the side of the tub or the tile in the shower. Um, and then you have the little book that you can read as well. And it comes with a little mesh bag to keep them in. How super convenient is that? And all of this for $4, such a fantastic deal. 
Um, I think my girls will absolutely love these. They've had the same bath toys in there for quite a while, so I'm going to be tossing them out because they can get a little grungy over time and putting these new items in there for them. I think they will have so much fun with these and it'll make bath time even more enjoyable than it already is. So I got Disney Princess and I got Frozen. So again, you get, is it six figures as well? Yep, six different figures in here as well. And again, a little mesh bag. And the mesh bag has the um, suction cups as well. So you can just put it up on the side of the tub or the side of the tile when you're done and it'll drain right through the mesh bag. So that is absolutely amazing. Um, I believe they also had like Thomas and Paw Patrol and a lot of other varieties, but I did only pick up the two for now. All right. Now that we've covered the beauty items, I guess we're kind of going with health. Um, these are just some masks that I picked up. Um, where I'm living now, we need to um, wear a mask anytime we are going into a business, so whether it be a grocery store, a dollar store, a medical office, literally anywhere that you're going into an enclosed space, you need to wear a mask, otherwise, um, you are typically refused service or asked to leave or asked to put a mask on. And I was really excited to come across these at Dollarama. There were a lot of different options um, depending on what you're looking for. And for $3.50 a piece for these ones, I think it is such a fantastic deal. So these are by Medicare, which is kind of Dollarama's medical line. Um, they do, they're 100% cotton. They're breathable, they're washable, and these ones do have the adjustable nose strip, so it kind of has like a little metal piece that you can push down to curve around your nose. They also have adjustable ear straps as well, which is kind of handy in case you need a little looser, a little tighter. Um, and I find they fit really, really well. Uh, they do have also a pocket in there where you can tuck in a filter, which Dollarama sells as well, if you even want a little bit more protection, which is fantastic. So I did pick up a couple of these. I already gave some to my parents and then I kept a couple for me to have on hand. So this is like a purple camo. It came in a lot of different color options. And then this one here is like a white and black gingham. Again, this came in a bunch of different color options as well. Then they also had some for kids, which is fantastic. Um, my kiddos uh, don't come with me when I go out to the stores. Um, I either wait for the weeks when they're at their dad's or my mom will come over and watch them when I run errands. It's just a personal preference that I have that I don't expose them um, to those kind of environments right now. But I wanted to have these on hand in case they need to go to the doctors or they need to go to the dentist or they just, they need to go somewhere where they're required to wear one. I wanted to have some on hand. Again, these are the same as the adult ones, just child size. And I have tried these on both my very youngest, who is now four, but wears like two, um, like two-year-old and three-year-old clothing, so she's on the smaller side. And then I've also tried it on my almost nine-year-old, and they fit both of them fine. You just need to adjust the ear loops, and you're good to go. So it fits a wide range of ages as well in different sizes, which is fantastic. Again, they had a bunch of different patterns. I got this one that has rainbows on it for my girls to share because again we won't be going out where we're going to need them um all together it would just be one of them at a time and then these are machine washable so i can just throw them in between um use and then for my boys to share i got the dinosaur one um these are great to just toss in like the little um mesh uh bags that you use for long um like lingerie like for your bras and delicates and stuff like that just toss them in there throw them in the wash and then hang them to dry and they come out really nice um, don't shrink, don't have any damage to them. So I really, really like these. Um, however, with those ones, with them being 100% cotton, I find that they are a little bit thicker. So it is soft and comfortable on your face, but it does um, hinder your breathing a little bit more. So Dollarama also sells these ones by Azuri. Um, and they are actually out of Quebec City. So they are proudly made in Canada, which is really, really cool. Uh, these are antimicrobial and 100% polyester, and it does say they're washable, but only for 25 washes. So this is what they look like. Um, again, these came in a wide variety of colors. They also came in a black and purple. Um, again, you can wash and reuse these, but discard after 25 is what they recommend. Uh, these are nice because the 
ear loops and that are really, really soft. I find they fit a little uh, looser on your face. So if you have issues with like claustrophobia or asthma or anything like that, I would definitely recommend these ones. Um, I don't like anything close to my face at all. Can't even wear turtlenecks or anything like that. When I was in the hospital, I didn't even like an oxygen mask on my face. That's how much anything there um, drives me crazy. Um, but we need to wear one, you know, when we go out here. So I figured I would have something that I can actually, you know, um, manage for at least a short period of time. I absolutely really love the bright neon of this. I think it's really, really fun. And I mean, if you're out late at night, then people will see you too. It'll be reflective. So really excited to come across these. Uh, these ones were $4 in comparison to the cotton ones, which were $3.50. So if you wanted to be able to save a little bit more, then I would go with the cotton ones. All right, but enough about the masks and everything like that. It's just, I know it's a very hot topic now with a lot of places um, in Ontario and I think other provinces as well, um, with it being a little bit uh, mandatory in some areas. Um, I've traveled recently and it just depends on the city. Like each municipality can make up their own decision whether or not they're going to enforce the mask. And it's really interesting to see which ones do and which ones don't. But I mean, it's personal preference if you want to wear your mask all the time, even when it's not mandatory. Um, go for it. Just as someone who can't have anything near their face or it makes them really uncomfortable or people who have trouble breathing, you know, we might only want to do it when it's, you know, mandatory. All right, so now I'm going to show you some kitchen items. Uh, the first thing I picked up is this uh, giant bottle of sunlight. Well, I guess not giant, but it's 562 milliliters and it is the Simple and Gentle line, which I haven't seen at Dollarama before. I absolutely love this stuff for washing hands because it's a lot, uh, sorry, for washing dishes because it's a lot more gentler on the hands. It doesn't dry out your skin, which a lot of um, dishwashing detergents can do. This is in the lavender scent. And I know my youngest daughter is just gonna love seeing it on the counter because it is purple. Honestly, it doesn't matter what the item is. If it's purple, she thinks it's so beautiful. So really excited to come across this. They did just have the original, which is white. And I'm not even sure what the fragrance is of that one, but they do have different options. Oh, and $2.50 a bottle. So it's still a pretty good deal. I think maybe if it goes on sale at the grocery store, you could get it for cheaper, but this saves me making another stop. Then I did pick up a Febreze Air, and this is with Gain in the Moonlight Breeze. So you do get 8.8 .8 ounces in there, and it's just an air freshener. I like to spray this, especially when I'm changing out the garbage, um, because that can tend to put some odors in the air, and this kind of just gets rid of them. Um, it says that you don't shake it, you just spray it, and it's really, it's a really nice, really light scent. I absolutely love all the Gain scents, so that's why I picked it up. It was a uh, Ooh, was it $3? I believe it was $3. So I'm not sure how that compares to elsewhere, but I thought while I saw it, I would pick it up. Then I also got an air freshener for the car. So this is by Pro Auto and it was only $2. It says it lasts up to 30 days and this is the one that you put in your like little vent. And the reason I got it is because of the scent. I'd never seen anything in the scent before and I wanted to give it a shot. So this is Honey Peach. I absolutely love the smell of peaches, so I wanted to see what it was like. You can't smell it in the packaging. There's no scratch and sniff or anything like that. So I'm just, you know, giving it a chance and seeing whether it's good or not. Then I also picked up some air fresheners for my garbage can. Um, if you've watched my previous hauls, you do know that I have picked up auto air fresheners before, the ones that you hang off your rear view mirror, and I hang those in my garbage can. But a lot of the time when I go to change out the bags, I end up knocking them down. So I thought that these were really neat. So they are actually meant for a garbage can, or at least that's what they show on the front. And they're odor eliminators by Love Fresh. And you just kind of stick it in the inside of your garbage can lid. It says it lasts up to 30 days and you get two for a dollar. So such a fantastic price. This is in the apple scent. And then this one is in your lemon and I love lemon in the kitchen. I just think it goes hand in hand for some reason. Um, so super excited to give these a shot and see if they work just as well as my auto air fresheners that I typically use. 
Then I picked up a package of straw cleaning brushes. So you do get three in here for $2 and these are actually by Javex. So I do have quite a few um, reusable plastic straws and then I also have plastic straws in um, some of my children's cups. So these are going to come in super handy for cleaning those out. Really excited to come across these. Then I also picked up two packages of microfiber cloths. So I've never seen this company at Dollarama before. They are by Beldre at home. They're super absorbent and you get four cloths in each package for only two bucks. And I absolutely love the colors of them. I love using the microfiber cloths when cleaning my car and it's always good to use a different one um, for whatever you use. So like, you know, one for your rims, one for your interior, uh, one for your, you know, windows and all your glass and then one for your fabrics um, if you have a special fabric cleaner you're using to put on them. And then I thought it was good to have another set on hand for when the other ones are being washed. Like for $2, you cannot beat that deal. It's 50 cents a cloth. Like, come on. And these are such gorgeous colors. They're super soft. It's not the microfiber that catches on your skin or anything like that. So really, really excited to come across these and give them a shot. Then I also picked up a kitchen towel and this is just in a black and white kind of checkerboard or plaid. It's 100% cotton and was $2. I actually grabbed this um, for my parents. They just finished doing their powder room um, on their downstairs level and it's got like a black and white theme. So I'm actually going to be giving this to them to use as a hand towel in their bathroom rather than a kitchen towel. It can go either place, it doesn't really matter. And this is by the Maison line, which is like Dollarama's home decor supply line. <laughs> And they had lots of different color options for this as well. One that would suit pretty much anyone's uh, decor or color scheme. Then I grabbed these coffee spoons with clip. These are by Rama Design and you get two of them for a dollar. These are fantastic because if you can see here, when you roll up your coffee bag, you can actually use the clip on here to slide it on and it's dual purpose. It's gonna keep your coffee bag closed and then you're going to know where your spoon is. And this is like the perfect size for scooping out coffee. So I'm keeping one of these for myself and then gifting one to my mom. Then I found these ice cream spoons and you get four in here for $1.25. They're by Patio Plastico, which is like their outdoor um, food supply, like kitchen line. So outdoor, outdoor eating, I guess, like the plastic plates and cups and stuff like that. Uh, they are BPA free and it does show a dishwasher on here. So dishwasher safe as well, although I hand wash everything anyways, but they are so stinking cute. They have like little ice creams on the top and then you've got the cone as the handle. So I thought these would be perfect for, you know, eating ice cream, eating frozen yogurt, um, even like puddings and stuff like that. They're a nice size for that. We don't have a lot of small spoons, so I was really excited to come across these. And anytime when it's a set of four and I get four different colors, one for each of my kiddos, they seem to like that and I think it's super convenient. It makes giving them each a dish um, really, really easy. Then I also found this nine piece tip set um, by Ro. So Rosanna Panzino, who does Nerdy Nummy, she has a YouTube channel um, partnered with Wilton and she has like a whole bunch of different baking stuff out. She was the one who put out like the mixing bowls as well, which everyone was hauling a while back. So now she has put out like cake decorating icing tips. So you don't need to have a piping bag. You can just even put these in the corner of a Ziploc bag and make your own little icing bags, which is what I typically do. And I thought that my kiddos would have a lot of fun with these decorating cookies and cupcakes and things like that. And it was only $2 for this huge set. You get a whole bunch of different um, designs that it can do, which is really, really cool. And you even get a couple or two. So if you do have an actual you know, icing piping bag, this is going to work fantastic for that. So really, really excited to come across this. 
Then I also found these ice pop bags by Tropic. So you get 12 resealable bags in here for $1.25. And what they're meant for is like making your own freezies, which I think is so cool because then you can decide exactly what goes into it. So if you're one who gives your kiddos, you know, like more like sugar free drinks, um, and you have that kind of juice at home, you can literally just fill these pouches up and make your own freezies, which is absolutely phenomenal. Or you can mix different things together and make your own flavor combinations as well. I thought these were so much fun. Uh, they do hold 18 fluid ounces and they do have like a max fill line on there so you don't have to worry about it. That way they'll freeze nicely. And I was just really excited to give these a shot. I think it would be so cool for us to make our own freezies. I can have each of my kiddos choose what juice they want to make a freezy with and just have a lot of fun with it. My kiddos absolutely go crazy for freezies. Absolutely love them. So anything fun and interesting we can do with that is, you know, perfect in my books. And then the last two kitchen items I picked up and the last two items for this haul are these super cute storage containers. So these are by Kid Things and it's a two pack of, they call them animal bowls, but it is like a little plastic container with a little lid. Um, it says that you can clean them with warm soapy water, so not dishwasher safe. And it says fun animal lids, lids to entertain and to protect food. And there's four different ones you can choose from. And this is by Bradshaw International, which I've never seen at Dollarama before. Um, but I love the little hippo on here and it's purple. So I thought this would be so cute for my youngest daughter. I thought even just sending them with either snacks or their sandwich because they like little croissants and that that I could fit in there for their lunches at school. I thought those would be really cute. And because there's two, she can have one. And then her eldest daughter, um, her eldest daughter, my eldest daughter can have one as well, her sister. <laughs> And then I also got the uh, tiger for my boys. So you get two of those. I'm not sure if my eldest will want me to send one with a tiger face on it with his lunch, but I thought I would give him the option just in case he wants the same thing as his siblings. All right, and that is it for this haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed everything that I was able to find. I was super excited by a lot of these items, as you could probably tell. Uh, so definitely do let me know down in the comments if there was something that you really liked or something you're now on the hunt for. Um, I really enjoy reading your comments, and if I haven't responded to yours, I have definitely read it, and I will be responding really, really soon. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I hope each and every one of you is staying safe, healthy, and happy. Bye for now.